Hi, this is Pastor Charlie Avila. I'm going to be showing in this video how to use the VideoPad video editor from NCH Software. Right, so in this video we're going to cover all aspects of adding video clips, audio clips, and any text um, scenes that you want to add to the video. First of all, I want to take you over to the website and if you just go to um, nchsoftware.com you'll see that the video pad editor software is right here you can download a sample of it and use it um, on your um, you can download a, a sample so that you can use at home and then if you want to buy the uh, full-blown version the professional version you can do that at a later time all right so um, the first thing is as you know we record uh, using this uh, little recorder that's on the um, sound booth it's in the sound booth and uh, if you'll notice right here on the very front face it has a, a USB um, connector and so we have these uh, 16 gigabyte uh, chips that we use and we have three of them. One says Tuesday for the women's ministry, one's Wednesday night for the pastor's classes, and then Sunday also has a Sunday uh, 16 gigabyte um, chip that we can use for uh, our Sunday services. So uh, what we do is uh, each time when we uh, use these we insert these in the front and we hit the record button it records for us and then when we're done recording we hit the red button again and then we pull out the uh, chip and then we can insert it into our uh, computer our laptop and download the files okay <clears throat> each one of these chips holds uh, 16 gigabytes of data and that's basically about two one-hour sermons uh, so it can record somewhere between two to two and a half hours of video on each one of these um, chips so we have to constantly be deleting the old sermons so we can uh, have enough room for future messages okay so I'm gonna take this uh, USB chip and I'm gonna stick it into my um, laptop here and uh, it's going to pop up here for me to go to the view this and uh, I have it here my hard drive and then this one is the women's ministry it was the Tuesday and it's labeled that way if you'll notice all of these um, numbers here um, and it also tells you how uh, much each one contains so if I click on this one if you go down here on the bottom you can see that this one has uh, almost two gigabytes worth of video and it's 15 um, minutes and 22 seconds in length and you can do that with each one of these but you'll notice the sequence the very first one has no uh, underscore with a number but the next one has a one a two a three and a four and so on depending on the length of the message and once again each one of these uh, video clips is about 15 minutes long and uh, so you can see that this video clip has used up um, oh eight little over eight gigabytes worth of data so um, there's 16 so we can have basically a whole nother sermon that's recorded on uh, this USB chip all right, so um, what we're going to do is we're going to take, um, I'm going to show you how to load these into the video pad, video editor in just a moment, but I wanted you to see um, that. So I'm going to minimize this for right now and minimize this also. And the video pad, video editor icon uh, looks like that with the little star and little... Um, like a video clip there a film clip and I also have it down here at the bottom so I've already launched it for this training session and I already have a sample video clip up that I can use for training purposes um, today 
One of the first things I want to tell you for uh, your own um, study and education is if you'll notice right here, there's a tab that says video tutorials. If you click on that tab, it shows you all these different um, clips that are online that allows you to that shows you how to use the video pad software okay and uh, if you scroll down here um, you can see that there's a whole bunch of different uh, videos you can watch They're short clips and it just shows you how to use this uh, program I want to emphasize that today I'm just going to give you basic instruction this is not going to cover all the uh, capability of uh, this software because of course it has so many bells and whistles that um, we won't use all of them but we're just going to do training on the specific areas that we need to upload videos from uh, our church onto uh, YouTube and to our website okay so basic instruction only once you click on one of these um, uh, video clips It'll then you launch you over to the uh, NCH software website. And for example, if you were to click the one that said adding text, you can watch it. It's a YouTube video. They're usually pretty short, four or five minutes. And someone will be on there. Uh, one of the programmers there from NCH software will show you how to use the uh, adding text feature of this software. So that's pretty good it's a good way to just get refreshed on how to do different things adding animation different types of things that you want to do on the video okay so <clears throat> all right once you um, uh, open up your program one of the first things that I do when I open the video pad and of course I did it before uh, I started this video recording was you'll go over here to where it says file you can click here on this tab or up here so I usually click right here on this uh, green tab right here and I go down to where it says recent projects and whatever you've done recently you can just pull up an old project from here and it will load it so right before I did this training video I loaded um, this video clip right here and it pops up there so it's good to have just pull up your old video and then just start making deletions and editing to uh, the, um, uh, the new video that you want to record. Okay, so go to Recent Projects, click the one you want, and it'll bring it up. Okay, so I want to kind of give you the uh, basic um, layout and just give an overview of how we're working this screen, okay? So for me, there's three basic areas, okay? So you have this area here on the left, which has all of your clips, okay? The video clips, the audio clips, and any images, pictures, text that you're adding. Okay, so this, this just has the, the actual source, the main sources, okay? Video, audio, and images. Okay, this screen over here is your editing screen. Here's where you're going to make all your changes. You're going to clip things. You're going to split things. You're going to uh, cut off the beginning, the end. You're going to do uh, checks on things. That's all done here in this editing screen right here. Okay. And then down here at the bottom, this is your final product. This is where you are putting all of the text, pictures, video, audio, anything is being done here at the bottom okay so base it's very simple so you have one two three areas that you're working with here's where all your sources are here's where you're going to do your editing and here at the bottom this is the area where it shows the final product of your text your video clips your audio it's all listed here along the bottom okay so one two three now <clears throat> uh, so I just want to kind of come over here to the left side and let's look at this screen here where all your sources are okay so if you click on any one of these tabs it's going to take you between all of these files now normally 
we don't work with any separate audio files, but I um, am going to bring one in here so I can do a, use some uh, do some training on how to add video files in case you have a bad video uh, audio sequence in your video. But um, if you look over here on this side, you'll notice that any time that you put one of these clips down into your main um, video that you're going to produce, it will put a green check mark. Okay, so this video clip here is here at the beginning. And then this video clip is kind of here in the second area. This one is over here in the third area. And this one, this last one is way over here at the end. So once you add any one of these clips, it puts a check mark to let you know that it's down here already. Okay, same thing over here with these um, text clips or pictures. If you add it, it'll put a check mark here to let you know it's been added. This one right here, you can't quite see it too well here, but it's right here at the very beginning. It's a short sequence of uh, eight seconds. Okay, so um, let's go over here to the video clip. If you look again up here, we had the video tutorial, the sequence, uh, sequence preview, and a clip preview, okay? So when you're working with individual clips, you're going to be in the clip preview. And so this little uh, video clip, it's a clip preview, and it's showing up right here, okay? If you want to see the whole sequence of everything, um, you just need to go to where it says sequence video, and here's where you can hit play and it'll start playing the whole video and you can see everything over here is going to play right up here for you okay so um just be aware of that okay when we're working on um adding video clip text imaging pictures or whatever you want to be working in the clip preview once you're done and you want to see everything you'll just go over to the sequence preview and it'll allow you to play the whole uh, video that you just created. All right. <clears throat> Another thing that you'll notice as you uh, work with these files over here is if you take your mouse and you hover over that video clip, it'll give you information here of the duration, the start, end of each one of those uh, video clips. So right here, this one, we edited it and it starts at 4 minutes and 23 seconds. Okay, so you can edit over any clip and it'll give you basic information. Also, over here on this text file, it gives you basic information. And this audio file, if you hover over it, it'll show you the different, um, the basic information of the uh, audio uh, clip. All right, so in our uh, video production what we always work with first is the text clip because we're going to add information right at the very beginning of the video so someone watching this on youtube will know what this video is all about so in this case we're teaching from the book of jude it's the message is on jude uh, verses five through seven the three great judgments it says who the speaker is the church and then we always want to have our website on there okay so so this text clip here we bring it in here to edit it and then we add it at the very beginning over here of our video sequence all right um, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna click on it the text clip Okay, and once I clicked on it, it switched over to the uh, clip preview. We were on the sequence preview. It switches over to the uh, clip preview. And you'll notice here is the basic um, information that's on this text clip. Here, along the bottom, it's giving you the whole, um, all the different frames. And I always like to have the introduction to my videos have at least eight to ten seconds it gives people plenty of time to read it absorb what it's saying and if they even need to jot down like our website or something they can do that okay so I give them uh, eight to ten seconds in this case in this video we have it at eight seconds okay so you'll notice that starting here on the left 
It's zero, one second, two seconds, three, so on, all the way over to eight seconds. So it's showing you each of the different frames, and along the bottom, it's giving you the time. Now, if you want to change how uh, long uh, the introduction is on this text clip in your video, you need to edit right here. You can double, you can just click on the, the numbers there or you can click on the numbers right here and make these editing changes. Okay? In this case, what we want to do, let's just say I want to make this nine seconds long. I would just click here, click again, and right there where it says eight, I'll just replace it with the nine, hit the delete key. So we have, it starts at zero um, and zero zero seconds and then zero ten, uh, uh, tenths here and hundredths of a second and then over here it says it has a semicolon or a colon in the middle and then it says nine and then over here it has the tenths the hundredths and the thousandths of a second okay once i change that here i can do a, a preview and see what it looks like and um it goes all the way across there and you can do the uh, a check on it okay so um, I'm going to change it over here, nine seconds, okay, so you, do a, you can do a preview here, see what it looks like, you want to do a final change on it and you like it, just uh, click on the information here. So almost always I just come here, I click there, I put on exactly how many seconds I want this to go, let's say I want it to go ten seconds and then I click outside of it, it redoes everything and now you'll notice over here on the right it says 10 seconds, okay? Um, these buttons here, uh, as we're going to see when we get into the sequence, are very important because um, you can go to the, the end or the beginning of something, but if you look here at the sequence, I'll go ahead and cover this now, when you hit uh, play here on this and it starts playing, you stop. You can go all the way to the end of a, uh, of a clip or all the way to the end of the whole video by clicking on these buttons. So you can go to the end of a clip and all the way to the beginning of a, of a video by clicking on this button. So you'll notice here as I put in this clip, the first clip right here, then there's a second clip right there, there's a third clip, and then the fourth, fourth clip. I can go between each one of these clips okay by just clicking on this next clip so see it goes right to where this looks like a capital X I can click again going to the next capital X and I can click again go to the next one and then I can go to the end which is there the red line there or I can go all the way to the beginning and it goes way over here to the beginning so again if I wanna this one just takes me to the next frame that doesn't do very much but this one takes me to the next clip next clip next clip next clip next clip okay so uh, let me go back 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 so these four video clips over here we were we were just scrolling between each one of the videos that are down here in your final sequence okay but let's go back here to this text clip right now I have it at 10 seconds uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put it back at 8 seconds so make sure you always put 0 8 there in the front it'll redo it Okay, and this is uh, now an eight second introductory video text clip right at the beginning of your video. In order to edit what's on this screen, you come down here and this is where you do your editing. So all you have to do is hit that one time. So just come, click on it once, and it brings up the screen which looks like a, a mini um, uh, word processor okay so here it allows you to put in different types of fonts you can put bold italics underline this allows you to increase the size of the font this uh, here gives you the background color you can do scrolling up down 
uh, from left to right, it can scroll this text uh, from right to left, bottom to top, and so on. Um, you can center it, right justify, left justify, and so on. So it has a lot of different capabilities. So I'm just going to uh, go in and show a, a couple of things here. So first of all, let's just say I wanted to change the text here. So right now it's on Times Roman. So if I just click on this down arrow here, it brings up all the different uh, fonts that I have on my laptop. So if I want the Arial font, for example, which is a popular font, I just click, hit on the letter A on my uh, keypad here on my uh, keyboard. I hit A and it goes all the way to the A's and then I, I can click on Arial and you'll notice that it changed the font here to Arial. It edited the font up here and it re um, formatted the frames along here to have the Arial font. Okay, so that's a clear font to read. Um, I've always left it on the uh, most standard of all fonts, which is the Times Roman. So if I click back again, I hit the letter T. It's going to go to Times Roman and it redid the whole sequence all over again. Okay. <clears throat> If I want to change the font size, I can just click right here and increase the size or decrease it by hitting this arrow uh, up or down, or I can also um, uh, adjust it by just typing the font size that I want here. So if I want an 11 font size, I just type it in right there, and if I want to increase it to 12, I can just hit that increase there. What you want to be careful with, though, is don't get too big because if you do and uh, you start making it too big, you're going to see the, the words down here, Teacher of the Bible, is basically off the screen. And when a person is watching this video, he's not going to be able to see the whole thing. So you want to make sure that the font size stays about uh, 13, 12, somewhere around there, and it's kind of centered, all right? So we're going to leave it there. <clears throat> I've set it up so that when I highlight the uh, title, I change colors so people can know what the message title is. Okay, the rest of them are in white, uh, but the uh, title of the of the teaching is uh, well, it's kind of like a peach color there. If I want to change the background color, all I have to do is click on this background square here. Uh, the text color, which is white, is right here. I can change that color by highlighting this. <coughs> and then I can uh, change the color here. And also I can change the background color here. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, I put, it, put a shadow on that. Uh, I'm going to take the shadow off. But if you want to uh, change the background color, you go here. I'm going to click on here. And this allows you to really pick from a full range of colors. Okay, if you want to do red or uh, top or bottom here, or a yellow color background, or a green color, you can. So I'm just going to click on here, anywhere on this palette. I can click and it will change the color for me. So you'll notice as I click a new color, it's going to give you and show you what the new color looks like versus what you currently have, okay? The current is the blue, and what we're going to add is the new uh, red color. So if I click OK on that, it makes that red, but now you can hardly see um, the title of the message because it's not um, matched up with the red background. So I'm going to highlight the title. I'm going to click on that, and I'm just going to make it maybe a, uh, well, if I were to click on a blue color, again, it shows you the difference between the new and the current. And let's see what that looks like. Well, you can read that a little bit better. All right, so I'm going to go back, click on a blue color. And the standard is, uh, and we'll just leave the, these colors for right now, the standard for uh, visual clarity, what is best, is, is blue on white lettering. Okay, blue background, white lettering uh, allows you to um, see clearly 
um, what the um, text is on a screen. Okay, that's been studied by scientists who actually try to figure out what was best for uh, people's visual. All right, so once you're done, just hit the thing and it's all set. So it's eight seconds. The text that you've put in, whatever font, is going to be there. When you're done with this text clip here, when you're done editing it now, you, you selected it from here, you edit it here, now you got to put it over here, and it's got to be the very first thing that you're going to add. So the all-important button is here, placement. Where are you going to place it? Well, this always is at the very beginning. So if you click this down arrow, you're going to place it on sequence at the start. It's always going to be at the start. Okay, so you click that button. It will then take this and put it over here. Well, because I've already put it there earlier, I'm going to blow this up a little bit by moving this off to the right. So you can see it's right over here, this little sequence of eight seconds that I edited here, I put over here. It has no audio, it's just an introduction. And so there's no audio files you can see here from the bottom. Over here when I start speaking on the video, you can see the audio clip. But over here, I'm just going to show these uh, eight seconds, this video clip here that shows the title of the message. All right. I'm going to grab this and I'm going to shrink it back down again. All right. So that's pretty uh, straightforward. If you wanted to do some more fancy things, I don't always recommend that for uh, what our purposes are, but if you're doing some video editing and you want to do some special type of scrolling with this text, up or down, typewriter, you want to add countdown clocks, uh, you want it to come vertical, horizontal, you want it to have it like a Star Wars a title come through, you can do all of those kinds of things. But I keep it pretty simple. A simple text overlay, that's what we've been using. And again, you can do all type of scrolling sequence. You can even have a typewriter that will type it all out for you. But uh, I don't want to distract people too much with all that. I just want to keep it pretty simple. So I always click on the simple text overlay and it pulls up uh, what we have here uh, on all of our videos. Okay, let's talk about video clips. Okay, when you want to use a video clip, you just click over here on this tab. We were over here in images to add the text clip, over here on a uh, video clip. And if I select this video clip here, it brings it up under the clip preview, and there it is. Now, one of the things I want to tell you right away is what you're usually editing, okay, what you're usually editing is... Um, the uh, beginning video, right at the beginning, you're editing that, you're, you're finding out where the person is starting, and you're editing the last video clip, okay, at the end, if there's any, you know, things at the end of the video clip that you would like to get rid of, then you're going to edit. But these, the video in the middle, unless you have something that you want to cut out, these video clips in the middle are just going to be added. You can just drag and drop them right into here. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to, how to do that in just a second. But you're always looking at the first video clip and the last video clip. You're, you're editing the very beginning of the video to make sure the person starts speaking. If there's any announcements and all that that need to be taken out, that's going to be done on the first one. And also at the end, you want to go at the end and see what they're what the speaker is saying right at the end and if he's done speaking you're going to cut it off there where he or she is done speaking okay so the middle clips you don't need to really edit those because it's right in the middle of the teaching and you're just gonna let that go uh, right through all right now I wanna uh, show here while I can let me just unmute my sound here so you can hear this. <clears throat> so if you look again here at the bottom, I have this introductory clip here at the beginning where it shows what the message is and then this first sequence it ends with this looks like a capital X here and then the next the next clip, the second clip which is this one is right here 
and it ends right here where it has this little um, cap, it looks like a capital X. This third clip right here is right here, so it goes from this X over to this X, and then this last little bit here, this 9 minute 57 second clip is just here at the end. Okay, so uh, once again, if you're in the sequence preview, you can jump between each one of these video uh, clips by clicking on this one. It even tells you there as it hovers, you hover over it, it says go to the next clip. So it goes to the next clip, go to the next clip, go to the next clip. You can go to the end by clicking there, it even tells you when you hover over it, or you can go to the beginning by going there. Wherever you want to go, uh, you can just move this red uh, line, just uh, let, hit, click on the left mouse button, hold it down, and you can move it to wherever you want. As you're moving it around here, it's going to pop up right here, and then you can start playing at that point, right. and it, it uh, starts playing for them. you. You can move it forward. So right here, and it now tells you where you are right here, the time, language, and you're here, you're, you're showing you the time person. where you're at. You, wouldn't just say, you oh, can pause, a... you can move the, uh, wherever you want to go in the, in the clip. As you're holding down the left mouse button and moving, you can see that the, um, it's showing you what time you're stopping at each time. Okay, so you can go anywhere in the clip and watch it. Wherever you stop, that's where this thing uh, stops here, and you can start uh, Levy, playing that and Levy listening to a, it a and seeing how him. you, he was the one that you got um, the like it. Okay, so let's just say uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this editing here of the first one. So I click it. If I know exactly where I want it to be, I can click on these... Um, uh, time right here and I can type in exactly the time that I want it to start or end. So if I want to be really precise and this time sequence here it has hours, it has the minutes, it has the seconds and then the the tenths, the hundreds and thousands of a second. So I get very precise. So I can actually come in and determine exactly where I want it to end on any video clip. I can move it to exactly where I want it to be and I can actually uh, put it in right there, hit end, and that's where it's going to end. Over here on the start, if I wanted to start at 4 minutes and 33 seconds, like that, and I hit start, it's going to move it right to the exact position where I want it to be. Okay, so the start and the end, I can move it to wherever I want it, and that's how long the video clip will be. Well, usually at the beginning, this first clip, I'll always want it to go to the end of that first clip. Again, what I'm editing almost always is the very beginning of the clip. Also, the last clip, when I go there, you can see on this one, I stopped it, oh, a couple of maybe 20, 30 seconds before the end. So I moved that little bar to its position, and then I clicked in, or I could actually type in what I wanted it to um, where I want it to end, I can actually type in. So if I want it to end at nine minutes exactly, I can type that in. Okay. And you'll notice it moved it over here to the nine minutes. If I want to change it back to where it was, 57, type that in for the minute, hit end, it moves right back to the end where it was supposed to be. So I can control fully exactly where I want this to begin and to end on any video clip. But the ones we're mostly concerned with are the beginning and the end here, okay? So, uh, again, once you're done editing, okay, so we always start with the first video, the second video, the third video, and then the last video. However many clips there are here, there could be two clips, there could be three clips, there could be five or six clips. We always start with this one, we work our way over, and your screen may be smaller, and so these will be stacked right on top of each other. In this case right now, they're here listed horizontally, but on your laptop, 
it may be listed one, two, three, four, all uh, up and down here uh, vertically. Okay, but we start from the left. We're adding video clips, adding video clips. Once you add the video clip, it's going to put a check mark right here. All right, so um, once you're done working with this first video clip, what you're going to want to do is once you're finished, you're going to place it, and you're always going to place it at the end. Okay, so in other words, you're going to take this first video clip edit it here and then you're going to place it right after the introduction that we had that eight second text overlay clip on the very beginning you're going to take this first video and you're going to put it at the end so it's going to put it at the end of that text uh, section of eight seconds when you go to the next one and you're done editing it normally you don't do any changes to the middle of a sermon or a middle of a message when you're done you're going to click and you uh, hear this down arrow. You're going to hit place on sequence at the end. So it's going to put it here, starting right here, and it's going to put it right in here between these two. It puts it in there. And we're going to show you how to do that in just a second. Uh, you do the third video. You don't need to edit it. You put place at the end, and it puts it right here for you. And then finally, the fourth video, this one you do want to edit at the end. It's been edited. And then you're also going to place it here, right there. You click on it, and you're going to place it at the end, and it puts it here at the bottom. All right. Now, I just want to tell you, you have the capability to do this. I'm not going to go into all the details of this, but I want to show you something that you can do um, in case there's an error with the video or if the, uh, the, the audio of this video message doesn't come through very good and you recorded it with an audio recorder you can take the audio clip from the audio recorder and put it into this video and remove the video the videos audio that didn't come out very good you can take that completely out and put in a clear um, audio that you recorded with an audio recorder so I'm going to show you that just real quick all right, so this particular, uh, let me go back over here, this particular video here on the three judgments out of the book of Jude, uh, I forgot to turn on the lapel mic, um, and so it did not record any audio whatsoever. So um, what I did was I took the video clip, the audio clip from Waypad Editor, this file here, this whole audio clip, I saved it as a file, the three judgments, okay. Then I came over here, and I went over here to where it says add files, so I clicked on it. I went and found uh, that video clip right here, three judgments, video version. I double clicked it, and what uh, video pad did was it brought it right in here and now this audio file here that's on the bottom is actually the audio file from the audio recorder okay it's not the audio that we recorded on the video because I had it muted so it didn't come out so I was able to incorporate the audio from the uh, audio recorder into this video okay so I want to show you how to do that I'm gonna if you'll notice you can go at any place click and you can delete things okay so if I want to delete the end here I can just click on it see that I just click hit the delete key it goes away hit the delete key it goes away I can click on this bottom audio which is this audio file over here okay I, I brought it in through add file I brought it in it shows up here under the audio files I can delete that too by clicking here and I'm gonna delete the rest of these videos that are here so the only thing that's left is that eight second clip at the beginning you go back and look at the video you see they're all unchecked because I'm not using any of them okay the only one that's being used is this uh, text overlay. Now let me show you something here. 
So um, the only the only thing I had to do was I had to match my starting point in the video, which happened to be at four minutes thirty three seconds, and that that is the actual start here of this when I start speaking and I recorded it. I started right here at the beginning. That happened to be at the um, the four minute and thirty three second point here in the video so I had to match it that's the only hard part I had to match my voice with the audio but when I bring in this clip and I place it let me stop it here I'm gonna go ahead and place it and I'm gonna place it at the end you'll notice that there's no audio here <laughs> I forgot to turn on the the uh, lapel mic so there's no audio like you saw previously that had all these lines right so there's no audio here so here's how to get rid of the audio that was recorded with the video you see this little uh, chain this unlink right here it's like a little a little link if you click on that it turns this into another color and now you're able to edit it out so you just click hit the delete key it takes it completely out okay so now I go over here to this video clip I'm gonna add it to the end so it added it here on the end so the first two video clips are on click the next video clip I'm gonna add it to the end I'm going to take the next video clip, the last one. I already edited it toward the end, so I'm going to go ahead and take that, take it out. Okay? But you'll notice again, this is the only one that has no audio right now. I completely took it out. So I have to unlink this one. It changes a different color. I hit delete. I unlink this one. Hit delete. I unlink this one. Hit delete. And now this is all completely out okay and so now I can go over here to my audio file just here and well I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do this too let me take this out you gotta remember if you can't add the audio file at the beginning because there's an eight second clip here at the very beginning that needs to be taken out so I'm going to take that out okay I'm going to add now this whole video right here I'm going to put it right at the beginning so the whole uh, audio shows up now and it matches my voice all the way through so this audio file that I recorded with my audio recorder now shows up here in the video Okay, but we go back and add this text clip here. You notice I took it out, so it's unchecked. I'm going to add it way at the beginning, add it way at the start. I'm going to put it back in. So now, if I want to look at the whole sequence of what I just did, the beginning with the following clips, I just hit home, make sure that this red line is all the way at the beginning. And then I can go ahead and click on it. It starts playing it for me here. And the red line is moving across here. And All right, this sequence so is ready to go. And let's just... Okay. And so I can go ahead and listen to the whole video clip of this message. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and go from the very beginning and just quickly add, uh, put together a video uh, for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and start from the beginning. Uh, I'm going to discard all the changes that we made. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and launch the video pad editor. I'm going to pull up an old, a recent project.
Okay, so it's going to load all the videos. Okay, here's what I do first. The first thing I do is when I get ready to do use an old video file and update it with a new one and create a new video, I'm going to click on File. And I'm going to go over here where it says Save Project As. Okay? And I'm going to go ahead and give it a name. So I'm going to just call it, because it's the Women's Ministry video, the Women's Ministry. And I'm just going to call it 01. I'm going to call Women of God. Put a dash. And I'll put Video Pad. The Video Pad just lets you know that you're saving this little editing thing. This is not the actual video. You're just saving a little project in video pad, so I'm, that's why I'm naming it this way. Women's Ministry 01, Women of God, Video Pad. So I save it, and now it has that up here. So I get rid of all the old stuff. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this audio file. I don't need that. It's going to ask me, do I want to delete it? Yes. Turn off all this. Thing here okay let me go ahead and go to the video I click on it I delete it does it want me to remove it yes click on it delete it remove it I'm gonna remove all the video clips from the old one and I'm gonna start with a fresh screen okay so the way you bring in videos off of the chip is you go here to add file okay so we're going to go over here, we're going to pull these all off here. I'm going to add all of these video clips here. I can also, of course, take these video clips. I'm not going to do it here because it will take me too long. Take these video clips and put them in a directory here for women's ministry. Uh, but for the sake of uh, this video training, I'm just going to add these videos here. I can hit Control A. If I hit Control A, highlights all of them. Or I can just click on the first one and then hit shift and click with my mouse. Control A is easiest. Control A. It's going to open all five of these video clips here. It's going to take just a second. It's going to add these files um, into this video pad um, program. While it's uh, Doing that, it'll take just a second. If you have a faster computer, it'll go pretty quick. But it's going to add all these files. It's going to put the files here on the left screen so you can resource them and begin to um, use it. So we'll wait while this is indexing this video. Okay, once we um, have all the video loaded from the USB chip, let's go ahead and I'm going to take out click down here at the bottom I'm going to take out so we can uh, just start this from the very beginning and uh, the the video files are uploaded all here and um, the text we're going to click on it and go down here and edit it and I'm going to highlight this and call it women's ministry and as I'm adding it you'll notice it's changing what it has there across the top so I'm going to call this Women of God, and I'm going to call, put the speaker in. All right, so um, if I want to change the color here, just click on this, and, uh, well, I'm going to pick maybe a uh, ring color. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that'll be fine. You can use just different colors that you want to use um, for uh, highlighting the title of the message. The speaker will let you know what the message is going to be on and um, you'll know who the speaker is and you can type that information in there. When you're done, just click the X there. Let's edit this just to go for 10 seconds. So I'm going to type that in there under the seconds click outside of the box and it's now a 10 second video text clip right at the beginning. You always want to place that at the very start. Click that there. Although it's kind of wide now as you begin to add the video clips here 
Uh, this is going to be scrunched all the way over here to the left as we've seen in the other video. So let me uh, go ahead and let's go here and uh, let's uh, suppose you already listened to this video. You played it and you realized that the speaker began to speak at the one minute point. That's where she, uh, the person began to start teaching the actual class. So we want to change it. I'm going to go over to uh, one minute. And we're going to put zero, all zeros here for the tens, hundreds, and thousands. And we're going to hit start. And it's going to move it all the way over and clip off the first minute. Let's just say it was all announcements. And they start teaching at the one minute point. And then from here on out, between here and the end, we're going to add all these videos, and it's only this last one and the first one that we're editing. We're editing the beginning, we're editing the end, okay? So we're going to just add, click, always add at the end. You want to put it here at the end. So hit end. It's going to add that first video and did a check mark next to it. The next one we're going to add again. And we don't need to do any editing to this. A place at the end of the sequence. We're going to add that. Another check mark. Put the next one in there. We're going to add here at the end of the sequence. I was doing some other testing here, so let me get rid of this line. Um, so this one here. We're going to go ahead and add to the end. And then this little short sequence here, I'm going to move it back here. We're going to edit it. Let's just say they finished speaking. This was actually a very short video clip of only 5.9 seconds. Let's just say they finished speaking at the three second point. For the three with all zeros. And we are going to that on there. The end. It's going to bring it through to the three second and we're going to add that all the way at the end. Now, let's suppose, and this has happened several times, let's suppose that somebody said something confidential that they should not have said. Uh, they only were saying it there for the women to hear or the people to hear, but they don't. we don't want this to get onto YouTube so um, or our website. So let's just suppose that here somewhere maybe at the 50 minute point you had uh, 15, 15, 15 and then the next five minutes over here. So at the 50 minute point they said something for two minutes that was confidential that needs to be taken out. So you're going to click on that video and again let's suppose that it started they started saying something confidential at about the five minute po point. So we're going to go over to about the five minute point there. Okay. And this little uh, split scissors comes up. There's also one right here that you can split it. And what you do when you click the scissors, it's going to split this into two videos. This first half here, and then it's going to have another so you can have another half over here. So it's going to split it into two separate videos. And you want it to do that because it's at this point that you're going to cut out another uh, section of a video right over here on this right side. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this scissors or I can hit this one here. I'm going to click this one. Okay. So you'll notice now that we have two videos two videos that are here that have been split, okay? And the one has a three with a parentheses and a one, and the other one has the plain three. So if we go back to this one, you'll see that it only has this first five minutes, okay? And then if you go back to this one, you see it has this, the next five minutes all the way through to the end of 15 minutes and 22 seconds. So let's say that they spoke from five minutes to seven minutes. So again, you want to go to here and you're going to take out two minutes of video recording. Put the three zeros there and say, I want you to start there. Okay, so now you have 
these two um, video clips. This one here has the first five minutes and the next one here with the one parentheses has from seven minutes to 1522. So between these two videos now we've taken out from minute five, six, and seven. Those have been removed and uh, so that two minute clip that was in here has been removed completely out. Okay. So um, we notice that in the sequence now, um, I'm going to go ahead and I think the best way to do this is just go ahead and take this, these video, all these video pieces out and let's just make sure we, we do this correctly. And uh, let's take out all of them now, including that last little piece and let's rebuild, let's rebuild this whole video sequence here. Let me move this over and um, I'm going to delete that one too. Okay, so we're going to put that in. We took out the first minute. We're going to place it uh, right at the end. I'm going to click this one on here. We're going to place it right at the end. The one with the number two underscore, we're going to place it the end. Now you have this one that has the three and this one has a three with the parentheses. So we're going to take this first one here. It's the first five minutes. We're going to go ahead and place it at the end. And next one is right there. It's the next one from seven to 1522. We're going to place it at the end. And then finally the short little clip at the end with three seconds that had the ending clipped off there and we're going to place it at the end. So now you have your full sequence all the way through and uh, uh, you have you took out that two second uh, two minute spot that was in this video clip the fourth video clip you took it out you split it into two and uh, that allowed you to eliminate the little confidential spot Okay, so when we go then after that, when we're done, we go ahead and hit save. We're going to save this project because you made some editing changes. We're going to export the video. You're going to go hit here where it says video file. It's going to come here. We want to make sure, we, the only thing we want to make sure is we change this where it says video pad. It pulls up what you did the last time and uh, we don't want it to say video pad, we want it to say video. We want to browse, we can put it in our video file and if you had it under women's ministry or whatever directory you want to put it in, you can set it in there, hit save. Um, the video format that we use in all of these is the YouTube 720, okay? So the 720 video, it's an mp4 video file and um, if I were to hit create right here, it would go through. It probably takes about 30 minutes. So if you have a faster computer, it will only take uh, just a few minutes. But uh, anyway, it'll generate this video with all the uh, the text clip and all the four, uh, six video clips that we put into it. And as it's generating this video clip, it'll have it down here where you can read how, how what progress it's making from 0% all the way to 100% and then it will be done creating your video for you. Okay, just make sure you save your project when you're done and then you can exit out and you'll be all finished. Okay, thank you.